The community of Nelson once again has their aquatic center, thanks to the recent reopening of the pool in the community complex. The project was moved forward after the completion of the NDCC's master plan in 2014, which listed the aquatic renovation project as a high priority item. It had to do with a number of different components within the pool that were at or near their, their end of useful life. Looking at things like mechanical systems, um, major components with air handling and electrical systems, as well as old tile that was popping off the deck and inside of the pool itself. At that time, there was decisions that were discussed saying, should we fix these pieces on their own or do we do a major shutdown that would see everything repaired at one time and try to minimize the overall impact for the community. And so that was the direction that things went. The major pool renovation, which involved fixing old issues as well as adding new enhancements, cost a total of $5.8 million and took just over 13 months to complete. Some of the, the major things that we've done is, um, again, around mechanical systems, while it's not something people will see, it's something that they'll experience. And I think people will, will notice that the, the lack of chlorine smell uh, as they enter the building, that it's not a humid environment anymore, I think are really big pieces for it. We have a pretty new, new system that's been put in, and it's trichloramine exhaust. So the way the air handling units have been uh, designed is it's actually creating an air wash across the top of the water, and all those, the, the chlorine exhaust is then being picked up through our gutters and being exhausted out of the building. So it's fairly new technology. It's only used in a few pools in BC, so we're, we're really fortunate to have it here, especially in a pool that's now 45 years old. The renovations also included adding a heat recovery system that will reduce the facility's greenhouse gas emissions. In addition to the mechanical upgrades, a true spa area has been completed with an updated steam room and hot tub, along with numerous fun new features within the pool area that will appeal to swimmers of all ages. Uh, we've added in some spray features, we've added in a rope swing, we've added in a three, three meter jumping plinth, which our staff are calling the cliff. Uh, so those are some really great features that are new that weren't here before. There's been some changes in our leisure pool as well and adding again some spray features just to make it a bit more interactive for people. Uh, and probably one of the the uh, additions that's most fun for people is our kaboom, which is in the shallow end of the pool. And there's a little detonator on deck that people can hit and will activate an air cylinder that, that creates a kaboom um, explosion in the water. So it's really fun and, and it's not just for little kids. We've, we've watched adults have, have a great time with it as well. And making the facility even more user friendly is the addition of an accessibility ramp in the main pool's shallow end. And that's just to allow people that have mobility issues um, an easy transition into the water from our teach pool, as well as an opening in the bulkhead uh, where there will be a water gate that will then allow people just to step down into the lap pool. Uh, so just again, to be able to do that seamlessly, um, you know, in, a, in a, an environment that, that's very uh, respectful and dignified for people. While there are still a few finishing touches currently ongoing, the newly renovated pool is once again open, much to the delight of the community. For Go in Nelson, I'm Christina Kruczkowski.